Hello guys, welcome to Hardoor Hacking Tutorials. Hope you are doing great and doing your bug bounty hunting as usual. Now this is a quick demo on using Nmap scripts to maximize your bug bounty payouts. Now all of us use Nmap and know that it's an open source network mapper and a port scanner. Nmap also allows you to script certain tasks by using Nmap scripting language. For short form, it's called .nac. Now using Nmap scripts, you can definitely automate some of the tasks that you need to run during a port scan. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can actually automate the process of running a scan on the CVIDs for a particular service version running on a port. Now, usually when we are doing bug bounty hunting, we are generally scanning the network and the ports for a given IP range. And on these ports, which are open, we find certain versions of services running. Now we generally go up to our browser and look for, you know, what CV ID do we have for that particular version and when it's vulnerable or not. Now, if this could be automated, that could save us a lot of time. And if there is a critical bug, it could definitely maximize the bounty payout. Now, before wasting any further time, let me go to the practical demonstration. So the first script that I'm going to add is called nmap vulners. It can be found in this Git repo and you can also look at the description for all the links used in this video. The other script is called one scan. Now the process of adding these scripts, let me iterate that these scripts are not by default present in the nmap that come in your security distros. For this demo, I'm using Parrot OS. You can also do the same thing in Kali. It has been tested by me. So quickly, uh, let me go to the directory where there are nmap scripts. User share nmap scripts. So this is where all the scripts are stored. And as you can see, there is no one learns or one scan here, right? So to add that, I first need to get the raw file for the NAC script one learns. So let me quickly go to the raw and copy the URL. Now quickly to get this script, I'll do a sudo su and enter my password and do a quick wget on the script. Okay, so looks like the script has downloaded. And here, if you see, we have our oneLurs.nc. Now to download the second script, simply clone the repo. The reason for cloning this repo and not just the NSE file is there are multiple CSV files here, which might end up being useful when they are looking for CVE IDs. So for this particular script, you need to copy the link for the Git repo and do a simple Git clone. So the point to note here is that these scripts will actually help you to automatically look for any CV IDs for a particular version of service or a, let's say Apache uh, server or uh, let's say an SSH server or an FTP server running on a particular port. Now looks like our Git repo has been cloned. And if you look here, we have our one scan folder and we also have our one script just above it. Now to perform this demo, I am basically using SickOS. Okay, so it's SickOS version 1.2 and it's basically available on one hub. For this demo, I am not using any bug bounty program or any live host for the particular reason I do not want to uh, waste a lot of uh, bandwidth on it. So let's open a new tab for SickOS is this. So let me copy this IP. Now let us give the nmap command nmap and let us do a simple sv hyphen script. Cool. And the name of the script is runners.nsc, right? the IP looks good let's hit enter 
okay uh, looks like I forgot to add nest to it and the scan runs so looks like it's blocking our pink probes so I'll quickly add another option which is hyphen the n which is a no ping scan so the scan takes some time since now the scan has completed you can see that there are multiple CV IDs here that have been deducted now if you look at you know this particular squid proxy is running on port 3128 and these are the CV IDs associated with it so now this is what we wanted to achieve with this particular nmap script that is to know what vulnerabilities and CV IDs are associated with a particular version of a service running on an on a port now another argument that we can use with this script is the min cvss equal to 5.0 or any number we want so what this argument will do is it will only show you the cv ids that are either 5.0 or above 5.0 so as you can see here you can only see the cv ids that are 5.0 and above however if you look here you can also see a cv id which is 4.3 not shown here now since the script running takes time so i have taken the liberty to run our last script on my own so let me quickly follow you through it so this script is basically the one scan one well scan nsc which is hyphen pn for no ping and this is the ip of our sick os now if you look at the output there is an ssh service running which has this particular version and even the ubuntu version is mentioned now what this script will do is it will not only show you the cv ids it will also show you the one db uh, the cv mitre we know and here you can see the security focus links and whatnot so this gives you a even more verbose output now this is an output from exploit db so it shows you output from open bass for that particular version if there are any vulnerability osvdb uh, security tracker.com and whatnot so this script actually shows you how you can go ahead and use this now this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and as always god bless you all guys and take care